Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome to New America. Uh, for those of you who are joining us in person and who are joining us online, uh, I am Paul Butler. I'm the President and Chief Transformation Officer here at New America. I'm going to give you a little bit of a preview of the day and make some very, very important introductions. Um, so just a little bit about New America first. Uh, through our research, through our storytelling, through our partnerships, like the ones you'll see today, and through our tools, we work to design innovative and impactful public policy solutions. We work across five different areas of society and change. And political reform is one. Uh, second, family economic security and well-being. Third, global, there'll be a test. <laughs> Third, global security for the people and planet. Technology for the public interest and education and work. This convening is being hosted by one of the programs in our education and work cluster, the Learning Sciences Exchange. It's a landmark initiative. We're very, very proud of it here at New America. And our Learning Sciences Exchange is showing what it looks like to solve problems across sectors and cultures. You're going to hear a lot about the work that's been happening in LSX for shorthand. We love abbreviations in DC. Um, this takes real collaboration and the ability to both learn about and to see through multiple perspectives and multiple ways of thinking. And it's also rooted in the science of how children learn. So I have a few extensions of gratitudes, and by way of introduction, I'm going to both extend gratitude and introduction. Uh, you're going to hear from Lisa Guernsey, and so I just want to thank and recognize her, and you'll see her throughout the day. She runs the Learning Sciences Exchange program in partnership with her co-founders and developmental scientists, uh, Kathy Hirsch-Pasek. Is Kathy here? And yes, you can clap if you want. <laughs> and Roberta Golenkoff, uh, who I know is here, yes. Uh, today's event is going to provide a showcase of the work of 15 fellows who have developed really smart prototypes and projects that will open your eyes. But first, let me introduce Yalda Uls, a longtime advisor to the program whose research centers, whose research is centered on solutions of what is possible when you bring different ways of thinking into one place. Yalda is the founder and executive director of the Center for Storytell Scholars and Storytellers at UCLA. She's an internationally recognized research scientist, educator, author, and expert on the science and of media and adolescent development, the importance of diversity, equity, and inclusion, and the evolving nature of parenting. Yalda, thank you. Please join us and have an incredible time today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hello. So nice to see so many of you. I am very small, so I'm going to stand over here. Um, so thank you so much. I'm incredibly honored to be here. Um, I am one of the founding advisors for this program, LSX. Um, I was there at the beginning, and I'm so proud to have seen how much it's grown. Um, and I really want to thank Lisa and Roberta and Kathy and Elise and everybody at New America and LSX. So here's the event agenda, in case you don't have it, online bulletin board. OK, I'm going to keep going, though. Oh, take out your camera. Oh, I think it'll be over there. Um, and here's me. Um, and here I am in person. So um, my, I'm here to talk about storytelling. But first, I'm going to tell you a little bit about me and the Center for Scholars and Storytellers. I'm going to tell you why we believe in storytelling and interdisciplinary collaboration, which is at the um, central, it's a central theme for LSX. 
So this is me. Um, I, for those of you who don't know me, I know I know a lot of you in this room. It's really nice to see you all. Um, I was a movie executive, so my very first movie that I got made was called Me Familia. It's an intergenerational story of Mexican Americans. Does anyone know this movie? Um, and I am a daughter of immigrants. Um, my daughter, uh, my mother was a breast cancer scientist, um, along with Shamala Harris, who some of you may know. Um, and I was at Sony and MGM, and then I stepped off to be a, um, to get a doctoral degree at UCLA. I stepped off from the movie business, got a PhD in developmental psychology, but what I learned is that I really cared about translating science. So I wrote a parenting book. This is an article I wrote while I was at UCLA um, called Psychological Science for All. And part of that was because I had been a movie executive. Now I was a scientist. I was doing all this science, but I really wanted to bring the past expertise to the present. And I was studying how media impacts young people. I'm also a mom of two Gen Z kids and um, cared about sharing the science. So interdisciplinary uh, collaboration is, is, I am actually um, emblematic of that. Um, so I launched the Center for Scholars and Storytellers in 2019. We sit at this intersection of scholars, young people, and storytellers, and we work with organizations like YouTube and Disney. Um, we try to support the storytellers who are making content for young people to um, integrate research insights, very much like what LSX does, um, more for older um, adolescents. Um, and we bring youth into the process as well. So I can't do this by myself. Our team has grown. We have 12 full-time people. Um, it's an incredible team. Um, and we also have a huge group of collaborators. Roberta and Kathy, I think, are some of our collaborators, as is Lisa. Um, we work with all sorts of people. We can't, we don't have the subject matter expertise. So we were asked to do some um, consult on a Disney show, or no, a, a DreamWorks show on restorative justice for preschoolers. We needed other people to come to the, you know, to work with us to help the storytellers um, integrate research insights into the storytelling. So we have a huge group of people we work from around the globe. But why storytelling? Storytelling, um, I don't have to, you know, that's what this program is all about, but we are in a media saturated world and young people are in a media saturated world and they love it just like they always have. Um, and so in order to break through the noise, it's really important to figure out how to tell the story. And that's actually why I launched the center and why I was so excited about LSX, because the skills I had learned as an entertainment executive um, really helped me tell the story of my own science and other people's science. The other reason, um, the reason to bring research into the equation is, and this is a very old quote, um, Rosemary might know this, um, it's from a, um, it's, it's from when Sesame Street, I believe, launched, and um, the FTC chairman the, at the time said, all television is educational. The question is, what is it teaching? So it can teach positive things, it can teach negative things, um, and, and working with developmental psychologists and other scientists and people who are thinking about the well-being of young people, um, really in my, my um, thinking may, means that when we work with storytellers who know how to engage young people and researchers who are studying childhood, that's when you're gonna get the best content and the best outcomes. Because they're gonna consume media, they always have, um, so why not um, think about how to make it the best possible media there, there could be. So there's research. This is not a empirically designed study, but there's plenty that storytelling is very, very powerful. So between 2008 and 2016, Barack Obama was president, Glee was on the air. Which one do you think shifted unconscious bias or uh, uh, um, implicit bias more? Yes. Barack, so researchers, Harvard, that do, do the implicit bias test, they found that there was no shift in unconscious race bias in um, 2000, in, in that time period. Glee was on the air, and um, there was a 13% reduction. 
So, and that led to the Marriage Equality Act, most likely. I mean, it was shifting culture um, because there was policy work alongside the shift in representation, and that made a big difference. Um, this is another study where when um, researchers want to check gender stereotypes, they tell young kids, draw a scientist. Many years ago, they would always draw a male. Um, five years ago, 28% drew a female. Um, and a lot of boys drew a female too, which was amazing. Um, and it's probably higher now. And they credit representation. Um, this is a study that looked at autism spectrum disorder, ASD. And just one episode of the show, so it doesn't have to be a whole show, just one episode shifted the way that the audience thought about ASD, their knowledge and their attitudes. Um, and now preschool shows, you know, luckily there are shows like this and Daniel Tiger, amazing shows where they're putting minority individuals as leads and it's, you know, undoubtedly shifting the way that young people see themselves. So interdisciplinary co collaboration, which is what LSX is all about, that's what we've always been about, and we've started with these creative collaborative think tanks, we call them CCTTs, and they have led to some of our most successful products. Um, so, you know, we know that this really works. We bring together youth, community, just basically almost the same group, entertainment people, um, researchers, uh, and young people and community activists, and we brainstorm about creating a product that the center then manages. It's led to our boys tip sheet, which has actually influenced a show on PBS Kids, um, and it's led to authentic and inclusive storytelling, this research study that showed that, because um, we're trying to motivate industry, so we showed them that having authentic and inclusive representation in movies increases the box office. Um, so it's a really, really powerful mechanism. And that leads me to my final slide, the LSX model of cross-sector collaboration, which is what this is all about. There are, these fellows work together. I've, I've worked with some of them the first few years, um, and I've seen the incredible products they do. The, the program has grown to become global, which is amazing. Um, and these groups of people that, that many of you are here from past cohorts um, really bond and bring that learning to the work that they do.